we're getting starstruck at AOP Where they regard the stars and the galaxies And supermassive black holes But we can't avoid a good look at the solar system's asteroids So come and check it out at the AOP Observe the universe, there's a lot to see Come to the planetarium and learn the story Or research at this observatory The story begins in 1790 With Archbishop Robinson's observatory A telescope in Armagh to explore the heavens And it's currently the oldest one in the same city and the longest daily weather record in the British Isles Began there in 94 and it still survives It's recorded at 9am every day Adding to our understanding of climate change But looking in the sky there were stars to see And strange fuzzy objects now known as galaxies They locked them in the catalogue, the NGC Still used around the world for astronomy Now, as a result of their passion to communicate The planetarium opened in 1968 You might know the first director, Patrick Moore With the sky at night in sight Yours to explore We're getting starstruck at AOP Where they regard the stars and the galaxies And supermassive black holes But we can't avoid a good look at the solar system's asteroids So come and check it out at the AOP Observe the universe, there's a lot to see Come to the planetarium and learn the story Or research at this observatory At AOP you can learn about research Into the sun and its effect on Earth What drives the solar wind and magnetic activity Or how solar Solar flares could harm life on Earth. They also stare at the sky for sudden flares of light. From stars in our galaxy or other galaxy sites. This might help find the source of gravitational waves to help other astronomers to understand how they're made. Now our galaxy is full of cold gas that stirs under gravity's pull leading to new star birth. But the most massive stars can form black holes. The phenomena that happens when the star implodes. And did you know nearly every galaxy features a supermassive black hole? Looking at the center, it can blow away the gas that could form new stars. Preventing the galaxies from getting more vast We're getting starstruck at AOP Where they regard the stars and the galaxies And supermassive black holes But we can't avoid a good look at the solar system's asteroids So come and check it out at the AOP Observe the universe, there's a lot to see Come to the planetarium and learn the story Or research at this observatory The asteroid belt's got a bunch of boulders The Kuiper belt's similar but they're much colder We call them comets from the outer a solar system, but some space rocks are closer. They're known as Trojans, you could understand it as if they were sheep. And the shepherd is the planet. There's thousands at Jupiter and one with Earth and Mars is some that AOP as well research. They establish what asteroids and comets are made from. With telescopes on Earth making observations of the way that sunlight reflects back from the surface. With special instruments that are built for the purpose. There's so much to learn from reflective light. And one day it might indicate the presence of life. It's being tried with Earth. But that's just the start Cause it could work on exoplanets around other stars We're getting starstruck at AOP Where they regard the stars and the galaxies And supermassive black holes But we can't avoid a good look at the solar system's asteroids So come and check it out at the AOP Observe the universe, there's a lot to see Come to the planetarium and learn the story Or research at this observatory